Craig here, and I often see people having a hard time configuring Google authorship and verifying their WordPress websites with Webmasters tools or Google Analytics. So with that being said, I'm going to be showing you in this video tutorial the easy way to configure Google authorship and to verify your site with Webmasters tools and Google Analytics. The only thing you need to follow along is, needless to say, you'll need a WordPress website and you'll also need a Gmail account. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be using a test siterubix.com website that I've put together for this video. And I've created myself a brand new Gmail email account. I'd created this a couple of hours ago and then I also set up my Google Plus account. Now, if you've just created yourself a Gmail account, you'll notice up here, you'll have a plus and your name. When you click on it, you'll be asked to you know, set up your Google Plus account where you can follow uh, people that may interest you and it asks you to update your profile picture, etc. So once you've set up your Google Plus account, you'll be ready to follow along. So if you're a member of Wealthy Affiliate and that's where this video is going and you've been following the training, inside your WordPress website, you will have a plugin called All-in-One SEO. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this plugin to configure our Google authorship and also verify our site with Webmasters tools. So under all-in-one SEO and general settings, what I want you to do is scroll down until you can locate Google settings. Now here, this is where we enter in our Google Plus default profile. Now, if you are the only author on your entire website, then you can enter in your Google Plus URL here. So I'm gonna go and get my Google Plus profile URL. So I'm gonna jump back over to Google Plus and under the home button here, I'm gonna click on profile. Now I just have the default profile. I haven't really done anything. And what I want to do is copy from the end of the numbers up here and I'm gonna copy all of the URL, copy it, come back to my general settings and I'm gonna press control V or I could also right click and press paste. And I pasted in my profile URL. And now we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna update our options. Now there's one other step we have to do and we have to tie this WordPress website with our Google Plus profile. So copy your domain name of your website. So mine is mynewsite.siterubix.com. Come back over to your profile on Google Plus and we need to go to our about page. Now it may look different because when you scroll, the it kind of alters the appearance. So click on your about page and then we are gonna scroll down until we find links. Now down here you have an edit button, click edit. And we are a contributor to, and we need to add a custom link. So we're gonna put in our site name and we are gonna press control V and we're gonna paste in our domain name and we're gonna press save. So basically what that's just done is we have told Google and confirmed to Google that we are the author of the content from this website. So before moving on, we have to test this and make sure it works. So I'm gonna open this in a new window and the great thing about the all-in-one SEO plugin and doing it this way is Doing it that way, it makes it site-wide because you can do it different other ways and sometimes it doesn't work on the home page or sometimes it doesn't work on category pages, etc. But this way it works great. So to confirm that our Google authorship is set up correctly, we'll need to copy our URL and head over to the Google Rich Snippet Testing Tool and paste in our URL and we're gonna click preview and it will show us if our Google authorship is set up correctly. And there's my Google Plus authorship and my name. So everything has been set up correctly. Now you may see some errors like this if you keep scrolling down and that is actually related to your theme but that will not affect your Google authorship. Now it's also a good idea to go and check out some of the, the other URLs of your post to make sure that they work too. So I can see that my sample page, the authorship is working fine on that one too. Now, a couple of important things to remember about Google authorship. Always try and use a profile picture which has your face clear and you're generally looking towards 
like a front face picture. The other thing to remember is it takes Google a while before they even start to display your authorship image in the search results because they have to come and revisit and re-index your website or the web page. And then sometimes they may display your authorship, authorship image and then sometimes they don't. So just keep that in mind. So now that we have the authorship set up, why not go and verify our, our site with Google Webmasters tools? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Google and search Webmasters tools. This is going to be the first result. And um, because I'm signed into my Gmail account, it's it may ask me to sign in. No, it didn't. But it's going to give me this welcome screen. And this is basically what you're going to see. So what we have to do is, again, we have to paste in our URL. So I'm going to press Control V and paste in my URL. And we're going to click Add Site. So now that we've added the site, we have to verify that we own this site. Now, the method I'm going to show you here is what I recommend you do. It's normally the easiest way. So we are going to click on Alternate Methods, and we are going to choose the HTML tag. Now, what we need to copy is what is between these two quotes, quotation marks right there. But because of the way this is set up, it highlights everything. So right click and copy the code and then open yourself up a blank notepad or something so that you can paste it in. And then we are going to copy what's in between the two quotation marks. So I'm going to right click and copy again. Now we are going to come back over to our blog. And again, under the general settings of the all-in-one SEO pack, we're going to scroll down until we find Google Webmasters tools. And this is where we paste that in pasted that in that's worked fine we're going to press update options that's been updated we're going to come back to google webmasters tools scroll down and click verify and success so now our website has been verified with google webmasters tools you know google will then start to give us some details we can submit our sitemaps etc now, there's a lot more to Google Webmaster Tools, and you'll have to go over that in your own time. But right now, I want to show you how to verify your account with Google Analytics. So again, we're going to do the same process. I've gone to Google. I've searched in Analytics. It's going to be my first result. And we are going to click uh, Create an Account, because we don't have a Google Analytics account. And because I'm already signed into Gmail, it already kind of knows who I am. It's already up here. So let's click sign up. And this is what we're presented with. Go with the universal analytics. It's the new one, but it gives you more details, etc. So first we have to give our site a name. I'm just going to call this test site. And then we're going to paste in the URL. So make sure we don't have that HTTP, etc. So I've got my new site So industry category. I never know what to do here. I always just select other. And then I need to select my time zone. So I'm located in Canada and I'm minus five hours Eastern. Now make sure your time zone is correct because then that way when you're looking over your stats and your tr details, you'll know, oh, so this is what was happening at that time. You're not confused at, you know, what time all this traffic came, etc. So we're going to scroll down and so under account name, I'm just going to put Craig's blogs. I believe you can put anything under your account name and we'll leave these checks on. And we're going to click get tracking ID. So we have to change this to our country. Make sure you put it to the correct country too, because when you created your Gmail account, Google already knows what country you're located in. So and click accept. So now we'll have to verify again that we own this website. Now the normal way is you take this script and you paste it in your header file, but all we need is our tracking ID. And I'm sure you know what we're going to do now. So you'll notice it now says tracking installed. And that is simply because I'd forgotten to unpause my screen capture software. So we're going to repeat this step once again. So make sure you copy your tracking ID. Then jump back over to your WordPress site and under all-in-one SEO, general settings, scroll down and 
also while I'm talking about this, this is where you'd enter in your Bing Webmaster ID and also your Pinterest site verification. But we're after Google Analytics ID. So I'm gonna paste this in and after you paste it in, you should see some additional fields come here. Now I recommend that you track outbound links uh, and we can leave the multiple domains and the tracking domain, if you wanna enter in your domain, go ahead. I'm not 100% sure if it makes a difference or not. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click update options. And now Google Analytics has been added to our site successfully. So if we go back here, I forget the whole process now, but I believe if you come back to this page again uh, and refresh it, you would see a tracking installed. But a great way to test this, and I've previously done it, but I wasn't recording, is to, let's first go to this home icon over here and go to all website data. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to real real time traffic and we'll just click on the overview. And as you can see, I was here a moment ago, but so load up the real time traffic and go to your overview. And then perhaps in an incognito window that I'm in here, you know, go to load up your site. And then you'll notice if you wait a moment, hey, we have a visitor on our site. Or if I load up my iPhone, I'll refresh my iPhone. Hey, we have two people on our site right now. So that will show you, you know, that will confirm if your Google Analytics has been installed successfully. Now, before I wrap this video up, I want to show you one additional thing that you can do. And that is you can link your Webmaster Tools account to your Google Analytics account. That will allow you to see more data from inside your Google Analytics account. So if you're seeing a screen like this with the menu down there, what we're going to click on is traffic source. And we're gonna to go to search engine optimization and click on queries. And here we are going to set up Webmaster Tools data sharing. So click on that once. We can scroll down all the way to the bottom and you can click edit. Now what this is going to do, it's going to say, you know, do you want to allow, you know, Google Analytics to access this data, etc. Put a check mark there and press save and press OK. And now you will start getting some data from Google Webmaster Tools in your Google Analytics account. At first, when you don't have much traffic going on, it's hard to understand Google Analytics. Anyway, that's how you go about setting up your Google authorship, verifying with Webmaster's tools and verifying with Google Analytics. Hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to leave a comment. If you run into any problems, you're more than welcome to post a comment, send me a message and I'll try and help you out. Have a great day.